Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Rishi Labs. In today's video, we are going to see what are torrents, how to create a torrent file, and how to send and receive data using torrents. Okay. So let's get started. But before we begin, I would like to give you a warning message about torrents. Please note that this video is for educational purposes only. Downloading or sharing copyrighted material without permission is illegal in many countries. Always ensure you have the right to access the content you are downloading. Using torrents can expose your IP addresses, so it's essential to consider privacy measures such as using a VPN. Additionally, be cautious of potential harmful files that may be disguised as legitimate downloads. Stay safe, stay informed and let's get started. All right, so I'll explain this how torrent works. But before we begin, I would like to explain about the terminologies which are being used in this diagram. OK, so first we'll see what is a torrent. OK, it is a metadata file that contains information about the files and folders to be shared via the BitTorrent protocol. OK, so that torrent file has the extension bit torrent name okay it contains it is a file that contains information about what data is going to be shared by BitTorrent protocol okay so next is peer now what is a peer any computer that participates in sharing a file okay peers can be downloaders or uploaders it is a computer that participates in sharing a file now that computer can download as well as upload that file okay it is known as peer now cedar cedar is a peer okay it is a computer that has completed downloading the file and is sharing it with others so it has a complete file and now it is sharing with others okay now leecher leecher is also a peer it is also a computer that is still downloading the file and has not yet finished okay it's still in the process of downloading a file it does not have a complete file yet okay now next is swarm swarm it's a group of peers okay it's a group of computers in that group some computers will be seeders and some will be leechers okay sharing the same file now what is a tracker tracker it's basically a server that helps manage the connections between the peers that is between the computers okay it helps manage the communication or connection between this between those computers okay it keeps a list of which peers are sharing the file so tracker knows which computer has how much percentage of that file now next is a magnet link okay it's an alternative to a dot torrent file okay file sharing can be done using a uh, means the information about that file can be shared using a magnet link or a dot torrent file so if you don't want to use a dot torrent file you can make use of magnet link to share information about that file okay so magnet link it's a hyperlink that contains the information necessary to download files via BitTorrent. okay typically used instead of traditional torrent files next is client now what is client the software used to download and upload files via the BitTorrent protocol example uTorrent and qBitTorrent in today's lab session we are going to make use of uTorrent as well as BitTorrent sorry uTorrent as well as qBitTorrent to send and receive file okay next is BitTorrent protocol so BitTorrent protocol it's a communication method used for sharing files in a decentralized manner so what it does it breaks down an entire file into small small bits and it is shared a bit torrent file sharing the act of sharing files using the bit torrent protocol often involving a large file divided into smaller pieces for more efficient downloading now next is ratio okay 
it's a comparison of how much data you have uploaded versus how much data you have downloaded okay so many private trackers enforce a minimum ratio for continued access that means some of the private trackers they set a rule you cannot download the file completely unless you seed that file in parallel or upload that file okay next is dht distributed hash table okay it's a system that allows peers to find each other without needing a central tracker so dht works without a tracker okay next is port forwarding it's a technique used to allow external devices to connect to a specific device on a local network improving the ability to upload and download so port forwarding is required to communicate between two computers okay next is dead torrent a torrent with no available seeders making it impossible to download suppose you have downloaded a torrent and it is not having any seeders only some few leachers are there leachers are the one who has incomplete file okay seeders are the one those who have the complete file now there is no seeder for the torrent then that file will be stuck somewhere okay it is a dead torrent that file will never get completely downloaded okay a torrent with no available seeders making it impossible to download so that's all about the terminologies we'll look at the diagram so how torrent works in this this is a user user or you can consider as a client which is going to download with the help of dot torrent file so this is the receiver receiver is having a dot torrent file it contains the information about the files which this user wants to download so what happens whenever he loads or uses or opens this dot torrent file in the torrent client application okay once it is open it contacts to the trackers which are mentioned in this file okay now what are trackers trackers are the servers servers they know information about this swarm it's a group of computers tracker knows information about the leachers and seeders seeders are the ones who have those file complete in 100% okay and leachers are the one those would be having files in 10 25 or some of some of some parts of that file okay now whenever a torrent file is open it contacts trackers okay trackers are the servers they provide information about the seeders and leachers okay and that information is provided back to the user okay so tracker helps this receiver receiving end user to communicate with the this swarm it's a group of computers okay once that communication is made now the file downloading starts the receiver receives starts receiving file from the seeder okay in parallel it also starts receiving from the leacher some parts of that file will start downloading from the leacher as well okay so if you can see the direction path for the downloading it's the receiver okay the user receives starts receiving from the seeder okay but it does not upload to the seeder because seeder ordered already have that file it as a hundred percent okay but it use uh but the receiver can also upload file to the leacher so there are two sides arrow so whenever you are receiving a file it can also get you can share that file in parallel some part of that file to the next leachers okay so leacher can send and receive seeders only send data to the new receiver okay so that's how it works basically with torrent protocol what it does a large file it divides into small small bits okay and that file is basically present with the seeders as well as leachers seeders has the complete file leachers has the some part of that file okay and they all share that file at the same time so due to file available at multiple on multiple computers and it is getting downloaded in small bits so the speed of download is very high in this network okay so that's how it is so that's how it is used if you want to share a large file you can make use of torrents to share that file okay but make sure you do not share any copyright material over this network okay so now we'll start to create a torrent file i've created two folders one is send okay 
Now this file we are going to send over the network. We'll open a receive. This folder is empty. Okay. Now we'll require a torrent line to create this torrent file. Okay. I'm going to share this sample video. This video is recorded by me itself. Okay. So I'll click on start. I'll make use of qubit torrent to create this file. Okay. Now how to download and install this qubit torrent and U torrent. Those videos I'll those videos links I'll share in the I button. I've also made a separate video on those. Okay. For installation. Now in whenever when you have opened this qubit torrent you need to click on file sorry you need to click on tools click on torrent creator now over here you need to provide the path of the file where that file is located which you want to share okay i'll click on select file this file i've kept on desktop folder that is to send inside send folder this is the sample video which i want to share okay i'll click on open over here you need to click on calculate number of pieces so these are the number of parts in which this file will be split it okay now click on start seeding immediately make sure the start seeding immediately is ticked ignore share limits for this torrent should be clicked then click the optimize alignment okay now click on create torrent now where you want to save this i'll save this in send okay and click on save now click on ok and click on close now we can see at the background background in this okay this file sample video is getting seeded okay from this qubit torrent it is seeding this file it is availability you can see the seeder is available is having 100 percent of that file okay this is the file size of 831 mb okay now qubit torrent this client is seeding this file it is having 100 percent availability of this file now what we are going to do we'll close minimize this okay in this folder we have say, uh, saved our dot torrent file for this video okay now we'll require another client to download this file. For that, I'll click on Windows. Qubit, uh, I'll use uTorrent. Click on Open. For this pop up, I'll say click Close. Okay. Now, whenever a bit uTorrent is open, click on File, click on Add Torrent. Now, uh, this is the receiving end. The receiver is going to open this client, okay? And it must have this torrent file, okay? This is the torrent file. You can see the extension dot torrent. I'll open this. Now, this file you can share to receiver via email or some other uh, way, okay? It is a very light file. I'll click on open. See, this file contains the information about the sample video which we are going to download. It also contains the information about the size. Okay. Now, where I want to save this, you can see the save directory for this video. I'll save this in a receive folder. Okay. I'll select and click on OK. Now you will see it has started downloading. This is the download speed and this is the receiving end okay see how high download speed you can achieve large files can be shared within seconds okay so this is how a file is shared and you can see over here it has downloaded and it has also started seeding now so now same this sample video is available with the two clients Okay, and both are seeding.
so i'll open the receive folder you can see the file has been received at the receiver end and it is the same file of that size 831 mb okay so that's all for today this is how you can create a torrent file and you can share large files over the network but just make sure you own those file okay do not share any copyright material the video purpose was to just to explain how torrent works okay how you can share file over the torrent okay thanks for watching do subscribe to my youtube channel rishi labs